in this tutorial is just a dive deep on how to build forms using odk for data collection so in this tutorial this is what we'll be doing this is just what we'll be doing in this tutorial building complex forms from our xls form using microsoft excel uploading it onto our owner server that's basically what we'll be doing today okay so this is the final output of the form this is how the form will look like our xls form and after that we'll upload it onto our owner server yep so without wasting my time let's just get started hello guys it's josh again today's session is a dive deep session into odk with the previous tutorials i did that was just an introduction to odk that was from building the xls form uploading from your pc onto the owner server and then viewing the form in your owner server yes that was basically what we did in our previous tutorial but with this what we'll be doing today is a dive deep into odk that's solving complex questions and building complex survey forms with odk so without wasting much time let's just get onto our excel excel to get started and also let me display the question so that you guys can have a look on what we'll be building today all right so it's just simply i think this great so today is a site survey questionnaire for analysis and recommendations this is the structure of how the form should be like the company name location and then with this form we have parts i think there are six parts the first part is the general facility information that's it contains the contact name job title occupation blah and also the second phase contains service entrance data the third is power usage the fourth as a multiple choice something that says types of equity sorry types of equipment and facility and the fourth as typical symptoms of poor quality power quality sorry yep i think first second third fourth fifth and the sixth part yes so without wasting much time let's just get on to how we build our excel sheet and after that we compare great so let me leave this here like this so that we can switch back without wasting much time okay. this is cool yep all right and i've built the form already so i'll just explain how i went about it i don't want to waste you guys your time all right so this is the form and then mm, note this when editing you can edit your form like this and then it doesn't affect uploading it onto the owner server it doesn't affect it i just edited it this way so that you can you guys can view the relationship between where and when to stop or the kind of variables and the kind of stuffs are used in the building the xls form all right so let's just get started so the first phase is general i think that's the first phase the first phase is the survey is asking a company name and then the location of the company so what i did was this text here since the company name is a textual will be in a textual form and then the location will also be in the textual form the text here and then today i didn't use i didn't add the settings tab because settings tab is an optional tab yes it's optional and then you can add it but today i didn't want to waste much time i just used the survey and then the choices tabs all right 
So we'll let's have it contains again three mandatory columns the type the name and then the label and also the choices contain three mandatory columns the list name the name that's the variable and then the label that's the choice the person will have to choose all right so let's let me get back to it so the first is what the company name and then the location and then the second comes since the questionnaire was divided into groups this is how you want if you want to divide it into groups this is how you do it or this is how you go about it with this begin group meaning you are beginning a group and then you have to give it a variable i give it a variable title underscore one and then general facility information yep so text which is the contact name job i made it the variable to be what job title job underscore title then title slash job function text company text address text city state or province integer so what here will be taking an input of numbers normally a zip code is in numbers so i made it an integer and also telephone number will be an integer i made a variable telly fax will also be an integer and then other the other will be normally it should be in a textual form maybe the person will add figures or text so i made it text and then the email this will be it will only take email so as you can see the data type is what email so it only takes email in it then other than email it won't take it that was why i used email here and then integer facility and then also with this question the image let me jump back the question i think um it should be here nature business can supply yep this is it so the question was like can you supply accurate single line diagrams diagram or diagrams of facility if required so the diagram will, will surely be in an image form that was why i used an image but nevertheless you can also there is a data type called file so let's just change this and make it file and then with a the file with a file meaning the diagram will be it can be in a png it will take can be a pdf it will take can be an xls file it will take it normally an image is, will be in a png format or jpeg format it will also take that kind of format so okay so it was a file let me just make it file the variable should be file All right so save and now integer mm, i think yep so we come down to select one type select one will be it's a, um, a select one i think it's here um, there's it yep it says transformer primary transformer primary or secondary voltage nope it is this service type so the service type the person is supposed to select one out of these either a single phase or a three phase yep so the person will be able to select one that's select one service type and then on the choices tab i think that's the first yep so the first i use the variable type yep the type and now this is, i'm showing that here the type and then the possible the single phase and the three phase will be the possible choice the person can be able to choose that's select one so the person will, be able, will have the luxury of choosing only one yep and here to select one it's are you higher voltage okay let me see the question yes are there any higher voltage capacitors this with this the person will be able to select yes or no so we'll select one we use the select one over there yes and i think 
that's all and then whether well, select multiple yes I think people were asking questions on how to go about the select multiple so the select multiple is just select an underscore multiple then give a variable and then note mind you the variable should not be with an underscore sometimes if you upload it onto the owner server it gives you errors that there are so many underscores and stuff so to be safe just let it be simple and short and then brief and understandable okay so with the multiple think types of equipment in facility yep so we are done with this and we are done with power usage yes that's title 3 group 3 and now we are here types of select in types of equip sorry types of equipment in facility so this is how I went about it I use the variable equip then I use the under the name colon I use types underscore equipment and then this is the question or let's say the heading to the multiple choice all right so when we come to the choices tab this was how I went about it equip here and then I give the name I just labeled it in numbers you want to stress myself with writing plenty so just be simple and brief so I indicated the variables with numbers so number one have computerized equipment number two laser printers elevators and then a whole lot and also with the next multiple choice as for this it's indicated that select or that apply so with this you would have to add a hint tab let me maximize this why oh, did it okay I, maybe i did it in the survey tab rather all right so yes i think there's it this is it a hint tab so i added a hint colon here and then as you can see 32 says not required at this yep i think i have to copy this also and then paste it here too i was referring to both so save so let's just let me show you how why that um yep i think there's it so with the above it's it's stated that not required at this time enter only if known so that was a hint to the above questionnaire that was why i think it's with transformer and then transformer short circuit capacitor that's why they are both in the asterisks yes so in order for you to do that to be able to display in the form for the person to know that it's not that compulsory you have to add a hint tab and then there's the hint tab the hint colon sorry hint colon and so with a hint colon and then with these questions i added not required at this time enter only if known so that's how it will be like and then also with under the typical symptoms of poor power quality it says select all that apply i added a hint that select all that apply and also i added select all that apply because with the types of equipment in file is oh dear <laughs> sorry facility yep you have to select or that applied out i added it and i think yep i also and added a sensible head hint over here that says another set that's this is the set group says other suspected power factor and power quality problems so the person can write plenty so i just know hinted the person who will, or prompt prompts the person who will fill the survey that shouldn't write not more than 200 words yes shouldn't be plenty all right so this is how the form will look like how to build the form 
the XLS form. This is how it will look like. Yes, so text. I think this is basically how it will look like. Yes, this is basically how it will look like. So I had some errors uploading it onto the owner server, but I will change them back in the upcoming tutorial. Then I'll upload it. Then we'll check the errors because most people were asking questions on the errors they were getting too much errors and then they were bored <laughs> it's just like debugging <laughs> yesterday night for instance i was debugging a java code and then i never knew i used i was using the python syntax in java and i was like why what is wrong with this code what the oh really <laughs> sorry my my language i didn't say that i didn't say that yes I was debugging it and then it was just yesterday night I could forget it out that oh I was using the Python syntax for Java that was why all right so this is just a gist of another questionnaire using or preparing a questionnaire in an XLS form to be uploaded onto your owner server for survey or for data collection so this is somehow complex there will be more complex ones coming so kindly watch out all right thank you for having me thank you for watching this tutorial kindly like and share hit the like button and also subscribe all right josh peace blocked out